Hey guys, so today I've got a wine corkboard DIY for you. So what you're going to need is a large photo frame, a ton of corks, and just a hot glue gun, or if you don't have it, just super glue would work fine. Uh, what we're going to do first is boil all of the corks. Basically when we cut these, it's going to make it easier after we boil them. And now we're just going to cut all of the corks in half. It's best to use a serrated knife for this. And this is the bit that's going to take the longest, so just be prepared for that one. Okay, so make sure you've taken the glass in the original image out of the frame, so you just have the backboard and the frame itself. And I have all of my corks here cut in half. Uh, what you need to do first is arrange the corks on the frame in a pattern that you like before we start sticking them down. Okay, so once you have a pattern that you like, it's time to just start sticking the corks down on the backboard. This is going to take a while, but it's totally worth it. I've been wanting to make this for a while now, so I've finally got around to it, and I'm so glad I did, and I hope you guys like this one, and decide to make one yourself. The wine corks I actually got all from work because I work in a hotel. Um, obviously that's not the case for everyone and you can buy the corks, but if you're a wine drinker or you have friends that are, then they collected very easily. The trick is here that when you actually cut the corks, make sure you have the best looking side of the cork, so then that's what you see face up on your board at the end. And just a warning, if you are using a hot glue gun, just be prepared to go through quite a few of the glue sticks. I think I went through about a pack, um, so at least five, six glue sticks for this. As you can see, I have used quite a large frame here, because I do want to be able to use this cork board for the usual things you'd use it for. I normally put all of my concert tickets, cinema tickets, and normally like shopping list of students. But obviously if you wanted a smaller cork board, you can always get a smaller frame, and it'll be a lot easier to get the corks for it. I think first I used about 100 corks, so obviously if you don't want to pay that much for it, or you don't have a way of actually collecting all of them up that quickly, then a smaller cork board is going to be a lot easier for you.
and if you haven't noticed, I've actually swapped with my boyfriend to do this one. Um, seeing as it was taking quite a while, I had to go and sort a few things out, so my boyfriend so kindly carried on for me. This is really easy to do, it just takes a while. But as I said before, it is completely worth it once you have the final product. Now I have used a black frame for this, um, it's just what I preferred, it's a nice matte black square frame, um, but of course if it's completely up to your preference, you can build it yourself if you want to, paint it however you like, um, but for me this is just how I want it to look. With the corks I've used, as you can see, the actual name of the brand is on one side and then there's a logo on the other. So I have done a bit of half and half, um, where half have actually used the logos and the other half you can see the one brand name. Just thought, seeing as I actually used all the same corks, I needed it to look a little bit different. And this actually worked out really nicely. Now this last bit did get a little bit complicated because the corks didn't quite fit um, but with a little bit of force we actually managed to make it work so we didn't have to cut any more corks. And as you can see I've had a little bit of help from my boyfriend again just, to, just for the force. Okay, now for the last bit, as you can see, there's a little gap at the bottom. It wasn't enough to fit a full cork, so what we've done is actually cut the corks in half. 
so that way they were actually able to fit so we can fill in the bottom of the cup of the board. So I left that dry for a bit, so what we're going to do is actually make some custom pins for this cork board. So you'll need some normal thumbtacks, a couple of buttons or whatever objects you'd actually like as your pins. So you could use gemstones and things like that. And I've used various colours of nail varnish. Now you can use paint, but for me I wanted that metallic effect so I've used nail varnish instead and again we're going to be using our hot glue gun. So all I've done for these is paint the buttons with different nail varnish colours. It does take a while seeing as you have to paint one side at a time um, but again it is worth it when you see the final product. Okay, so as you can see, I've done a few different colours of buttons, so I ended up doing a bronze, gold, a rose or a slightly metallic pink, a silver and a metallic or sparkly black nail varnish. Now I really like this colour scheme and this is what I liked but obviously you could choose whatever colours you want uh, with whatever objects you want. So now all we're going to do is use a hot glue gun to stick buttons to the top of the thumbtacks. Okay, so this is the final product. As you can see, I've got my pins there as well. Um, so I hope you guys will like this, and I'd love to see if you will try it yourself.